Hi everyone and welcome to Let's Investigate Kalimba. So, you might be wondering, what in all the hell is Kalimba? Well, on top of it also having probably one of the weirder options screens I've ever seen, it kind of, you can kind of see it here, it kind of flips around these uh, little triangle bits as you uh, go about your business. It's kind of a neat little thing here. Why don't we uh, see what happens if we just uh, keep at it for a minute? There's not like some weird, <laughs> like Easter egg to this or something. I, I, it's literally just that I want to see what happens if you do it. Apparently, nothing. They just kind of flip around. They give you some nice little music. So, what is Kalimba? Well, let me take you on a spiritual journey. There we go. That was a little weird. Load it up. I've made it a couple levels in now, and I I think I sort of get the gist here, so I think I'll uh, go back to this first level, and we can kind of take a look at it. The shaman lady, still in her spirit form, quickly learned she could possess the small totem pieces around the island. So, you might be wondering who that is. That is Hobear the Meta Bear. And as he has said at the beginning... He, uh, he makes a case for himself existing at the beginning of the game. I will not be explaining Ho Bear, the Meta Bear. If you are truly interested, you might want to look into the game itself. Now back to the game. So, uh, essentially the goddess possesses these little totem poles. Uh, she was murdered by an evil shaman guy thing, and... The point of the game is to be able to uh, reach the end of each level. It's a, it's a, another puzzle platformer. You know, this is uh, not exactly... I'm not going to say worn territory necessarily, but, uh, you know, familiar territory at this point is basically what I'm going to say. Um, and, uh, you know, even just in our recent past, we were looking at uh, shiftlings and, you know... At least in comparison to an immediate contemporary like Shiftlings, I can certainly say this one comes from a slightly different school of thought in that I sort of enjoy the idea of uh, this... Because, okay, so with every one of these games, with a puzzle platformer you'll either be more focused on the puzzles or the platforming, and uh... Ooh. Okay. And I think this... Ah, shit. You did a great job, Doug. Um, you'll either be more focused on the puzzles or the platforming, and in this case, I definitely think they're a bit more focused on the platforming itself. And it... Oh. Uh, it's, it's a little bit more interesting. They have leaderboards for the game. I don't actually know if they're active just yet, because the game's not actually out. It'll be out on the 22nd, which... I think will probably be when this video is going up. Um, but, uh, you know, essentially a lot of the ways the game uh, focuses quite more heavily on your ability to make certain jumps and uh, perform certain actions as opposed to, you know, Shiftling's thing of figure out how to make it past this singular pole so you can hop up on another ledge and get to a thing. And I'm sort of glad that this is ex that this exists because, um... And you see, I got kind of a death penalty there. Um, and you have a quick restart on your levels as well. There was much more to this game than just the A button. Well said, Hobear. There very much was much more than just pressing the A button. There's also the X button! So yeah, as you can see, they sort of uh, established this little thing of uh, shifting levels because uh, certain colors only certain totems can make it through. You can't jump on these little scully things. Yes, yeah, I, I, 
I think this is kind of a fun idea. Um, this definitely feels like it aids itself to uh, speed running a bit better than uh, I think um, Shiftlings did because Shiftlings, no joke, seriously took me like the better part of a couple of hours to uh, complete a. a ooh. <laughs> that almost went terrible. Okay, let's. Good. Good little. Good little kalimbas. I think they're actually just called totems. Yes! Awesome. Yes. Good. There we go. I sort of enjoy the music too. Uh, this is all built in in, uh, in Unity, so you know. Again, a nice little hail to our Unity overlords. Again, proving how <laughs> how much of everything this game that this that this engine can actually ah! can actually do. All right, let's. Do that again! Oh, I'm now seeing what I'm doing wrong. Okay. I'm gonna get so many death penalties. Oop. Fuck you. Alright. Yes! It's not an impossible jump, but man, is that not a easy jump to perform. Whee! So yeah, again, I sort of, uh, I really enjoy the, uh, I like how Steam in a lot of ways has, um, has really sort of given rise back to, uh, the short form game. Golden totem coding awaits those who can pick up everything without losing a life. Okay, so if I get through an entire level without dying, I'll get a golden version of those uh, statues that I covet so heavily. Sounds just fine. Ooh. Hmm. Like that? Sure. Neato. Alright. I can see the issue here. What? Oh, I see. Hmm. I don't see here. I have no idea what to do here. Hang on. Hmm. Oh! I can- I now see. Um, okay, so... Okay, so let's... Uh, I like how you don't instantly die from... It gives you, like, a second to react to it. <laughs> wow, that is instant! Hmm. Okay, I need to... I need to figure this out before I do, like, anything else. Oh. Guess I can't. Alright, then. Um... Ah. <laughs> uh, all right. That just instantly that just instantly killed me. Hmm. 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 
Ah! There we go. You actually just have to press the A button twice. Okay. Yeah! There we go. That's just fine. Well done. Neat! Music's really fun. Alright, let's, uh... Hmm. That. Nice. Duh. Well, at least now I know. <laughs> or at least I pretended like I knew. Nicely done. Nicely done, gentlemen. What? Ho Bear! Welcome to the meta space. Hope Bear has been prepping rooms in between the levels all around the island. It's something Hope Bear calls extra content. Anywho, a challenge for you. Get more than 15 pickups and a door on the other side of the room will open. You need to make it out of the room alive. You won't be able to, of course. You're gonna die. That's why I'm throwing a sweet achievement into the challenge. Hey, if you feel like quitting, you can always jump back through the spiritual teleport you came from. I'll show that ho bear. Alright, so I have to get all these? Did it. Well, look at you, still kicking. Seems like you've mastered the double jump skill. You've earned your achievement. The bouncing <laughs> achievement. <laughs> uh, old Bear doesn't care. Old Bear's got a ton of these things. And anyways, loads of people have scored way higher than you, so. Pfft. Oh. Bear, don't give no shits about no one. Let's continue on our way, gentlemen. Ooh, that's, uh... Should I be worried about this? Probably not. Might have fucked myself, actually. Hang on. jump at the same time... Yeah... Hmm... Hmm... Oh, they were... <laughs> Alright, let's... Man, that looks really good. Alright, um... He's like, no, I don't wanna... Oh, I got it. Shit. There we go. Wait. Well. Oh, isn't this neat? Oh, crap. 
Well, let's try it again. Very interesting play on music while you're doing it. Very interesting. Yay! I got a weird wolf monkey thing. Definitely not getting a gold statue on this one. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. Okay, and the totem you make actually reflects uh, how well you're doing on the runs, too as you slowly ascend this mountain in order to reclaim the earth and stop a evil witch doctor guy. If that sounds the slightest bit confusing, don't worry. It is. But it, it's uh, it's kind of fun, and I think in a lot of ways, uh, Meta Bear <laughs> shows this slightly... Um, do the leaderboards work right now? They do! They do! Um, it's testing, testing, testing! <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I don't have any... I don't have friends, so... Switch to global. Yeah, the, ga the game's not out yet, so... <laughs> I'm number 65 in the global leaderboards. <laughs> but that's because, like, a ton of these are testers that haven't actually played the game, or are just testing the game and stuff. Joss plays. I don't know half of these people. Yeah. They just have early code for the game. <laughs> Um, but I think Meta Bear sort of shows this interesting, um, facetious, uh, attitude going on in the main part of the game that I think is sort of charming. It appeared important to use the double jump all the time, the good shaman told herself. <laughs> Hmm. Bum, 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 bum. Oh crap, I just realized what I did. So yeah, man, like I said, uh, it's just a fun little puzzle platformer. It's, I think it's pretty charming. It's got some interesting ideas behind it. I can show uh, a couple extra modes it has, too. Let me... Uh... There we go. Just a fun little puzzle platformer. Ooh, how are we getting out of this one? Because I'll... Hmm. It... Hold on, what? Damn you, Meta Bear! How do I... Let's, uh, let's figure this one out, and we'll probably call it good. Actually, you know what? Before we do that, return to Kalimba. Back it up. So yeah, uh, there's also uh, companion mode. They do have uh, co-op for, I believe, the entire game. The meta space, you can actually unlock these extra challenge rooms and uh, play them over again for better times and scores and stuff for the leaderboards. Oh look, I didn't know there was a thing for uh, all the uh, 
for all the uh, cinematics. Hello, human. I'm Ho Bear the Meta Bear, a vaguely bear-shaped geometric. Ho Bear. Really? Okay. okay. Let's have that. A backstory. Hey. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna skip past this because I actually think uh, I think Meta Bear's stuff is a little too good. <laughs> he actually berates you for skipping his stuff, which is super funny. No, I hit the button again. <laughs> oh shit. Okay. Uh, and then there's also, uh, there's... That's actually something I entirely forgot to mention, actually, is they have a dark campaign. Challenge yourself in the Dark Shaman's world with ten... new, super tricky single-player levels. Only ten, which is a little weird... But uh, then again, I have 12% complete, and I've and I've played through three levels to completion. So take that for what you will. I believe this game's going to be for sale for $10 at launch. Uh, again, if I'm wrong about that, I'll put a correction in the description of the video. But as far as I'm aware, that's the case. No, I don't want to. I just wanted to mark it as I've seen it. Don't turn to the meta space. Okay. Um, they also have a 2 to 4 6 competitive game. Take turns and try to set a high score. Every time you die, you get a letter. Oh, that's kind of interesting. So it's it's sort of like chicken or horse or whatever. Then old school mode, apparently you have to beat the main mode in order to get this. I don't really know what it is. Spiritual marketplace. No idea what this is. Uh I don't know if that means, like, they're going to sell DLC for this or anything. It seems like just small enough of a game that I could probably see them doing that. But yeah, uh, full controller support, no, don't quit the game. Okay. Um, yeah, full controller support. Um, is this going to put me back at the... Yeah, it's going to put me back at the beginning. Uh, full controller support. Uh, I don't think the keyboard controls are really anything to to be sad about necessarily there we go there we go yeah it's I don't know I think it has a fun little aesthetic to it that uh, it has charm and that's something I haven't been able to say about almost any game I've been playing as of late it has charm which is a difficult thing to pull off in an age in which easy, easy, easy fatalities are for sale for, you know, a, a marketplace mass consumption capitalism. I don't know. Ah, I forgot that triangle thing. Damn it. Oh well. Okay. No! I almost fucked that up. Ah, uh, darn it. Ooh. This damn meta bear, man, he's behind it all. I'm telling you. So, back to this weird thing. Um, um, hmm. Wow, I fucked that up super hard. Okay. Let's do this like we actually play video games. What? Ah! Think I just figured it out by accident. Sweet! Okay. Let's do this. It, it also kind of helps that, like, ultimately, I think the control scheme is actually a bit more simplified than it was with... Um, Shiftlings. Because Shiftlings' control scheme just kept messing me up, man. Like, straight up. Shiftlings' control scheme, I kept messing up all the time, and I'd keep messing up things for myself constantly. It was super annoying. Uh, this, the controls are very simple. Okay, let's do that. 
Shift. Hmm. Yes. And most they have slightly tricky shit like that. It seemed really important to use the double jump all the time. The, the spiritualist said to herself, "Oh, I, I'm, I'm stupid. Why did I even? Yeah. <laughs> oh well. And you're on a mission to defeat Meta Bear. I don't, I don't actually think that's the case. I don't think he's actually like the villain of the game or anything like that. He's just like an interesting little adversary for you, I suppose." And Ho, Ho Bear don't give no man no mind anyway, so it's fine. <laughs> Let's, uh. Oh, we beat the level. Cool. I'm not gonna get gold for shit, but oh well. That's fine. Let's see here. Count it up. Oh, I got sunglasses, but now it's getting counted down because of the deaths. Okay. Hey, he still gets the. decorated totem. Hell yeah. Awesome. And it just kind of progresses like this. I don't think there's really uh Oh, you can actually zoom out to see everything. And oh my god. Does this go way further than I'm initially thinking it does? That's going to be really sad if it doesn't at least like go up past that tree or whatever it is. Man. But yeah, uh, Kalimba. Fun little puzzle platformer. It's goofy. It looks really nice. Music's pretty nice. Pretty nice. <laughs> I'll see y'all next time.